Hey, Tactical Painter back out in Suits Crafting Woodshop. Welcome back out to the shop. Uh, it's actually been two weeks since I did my last shop talk Tuesday. Uh, we've been kind of busy. Um, we've, we're two people down at my, on my team at work. And so I've been having to pull a lot of extra hours. Uh, last week I worked uh, six days out of the week. And then this week I'm actually working all seven days out of the week. And so uh, I found... About 15 minutes to come out here, talk to you guys, give you some updates on stuff we have going on out in the shop, and so I figured I'd just hop out here and do that. One of the things I'm really excited about was that uh, I sold my first Nebula bottle stopper blank, sold that to a guy on Etsy, and then he went on, he turned that into a bottle stopper and put up a review, and uh, here, you know, I'll show you a picture of his review, uh, gave me five stars, said that it was the coolest blank that he's worked with so far, and so that was a pretty cool review, so thank you so much. Um, I won't say any names, but you know who you are. I really appreciate it. I'm sure you're probably a viewer. Um, that's probably how you, either you knew about it or you just saw it on Etsy. So either way, it's pretty cool. I'm really happy that that got out there and that somebody else was able to enjoy in the fun and beauty that these things have. With that, I've actually been doing a lot of casting the last couple of weeks. Uh, I had a couple of 16-pound... Uh, uh, jugs that were on their way out they're ready to expire and so I went out and did a whole bunch of casting with those I've been doing up a just a ton of these galaxy nebula style um, pen blanks so this is one of them um, of course you can't see it very well because of how bright it is behind me um, but you can kind of see some of the colors cutting through there and they look really really neat. There's the bottom. You can see all the purples and blues and reds and stuff cut through there. And then I also have been going through and doing a bunch of singles as well. I even threw in a few Geesey uh, style uh, pen blanks while I was at it and uh, have those ready up. Just going to decide what colors I want to fill the cavities with. If you guys have thoughts, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below on what I should do with the, the empty cavities there. Uh, one of these is all black. Nope, not that one. This one is all black just with some uh, white sparkle to it. And so when it gets turned up, you'll see like the, uh, the white... Um, flash dust that I got from solar color dust is going to be in there and so that's going to be pretty neat I'm really excited to see how that one turns out and these other ones I just had leftover uh, nebula uh, pour and so I was like okay I'll just throw some in this geesey mold fill it up and so uh, the other two of these are uh, basically nebula they're the nebula same stuff as I do with the pen blanks and the bottle stoppers um, are in these other two so I haven't decided what I'm going to do with those yet I'm kind of thinking uh, just fill the cavities with like the interference colors that I use in the nebulas and then um, but like do like a single like red and red and violet down the middle and then uh, maybe blue on the ends or something I think that'd be kind of fun and then when I drill it out um, paint the tubes black and then that will give me a cool effect because it'll have like the black lines but then the individual colors filling the cavities so I haven't quite decided yet but I think that'll be fun and then this box right here, this thing is absolutely full of nebula style blanks. I don't know what is going on with my lighting. I am so sorry. My, my camera keeps auto adjusting. It's really obnoxious. Uh, but this thing is full of nothing but nebula blanks. So it's got all sorts of cool colors and, and stuff in these. And I, I went all out with the interference colors on these so they look just really fantastic they're really rich and vibrant in color and that one's actually got just a huge swath of red and violet right there on the end it looks really really neat especially there on top it looks really cool um, really happy with how these all turn out and I'm going to be throwing these up on the site um, so that way you guys can go on and purchase them and they are they're really cool I'm really happy with these so you guys can go on and get these I've got let's see uh, three, six, nine, ten of those, and then once I get this block cut up, it'll probably add three more onto it, and so we're just going to go ahead and get those going, so you guys can pick those up, because they are a really cool blank uh, to turn up and turn out, um, and they'll go right along the lines with the, uh, the bottle stoppers that I've already got out for you guys. Something new I picked up out in the shop this week, I had 
A customer ordered a uh, Lazy Susan, and my Lazy Susan is a one-tool Lazy Susan. Um, it only takes the one tool. It takes a router in order to complete it. And so I had to pick up a router because uh, I was using my dad's previously when I was making these Lazy Susans. Um, but now uh, I'm in my own shop, need, need a router in order to do a lot of multiple things. Right now it's got a 3 8 inch roundover uh, bit in it for doing up these Lazy Susans. But... The Lazy Susans are really simple. Um, I have actually got the parts that I've cut out here next to me. So it only takes two pieces of wood. Um, I do it in two pieces of mahogany. So this one is like a, uh, it's an Indian mahogany and this one is an African mahogany. So the colors are different but they're the exact same species of wood just from different regions. And so it takes two pieces of wood. Uh, one that's about 13 inches wide and then the other one is about 11 and a half to 12 inches wide and what you do is you, I take a, a, a one half inch um, cutting bit in the router and I've got a circle cutting jig that you drill a one eighth inch hole into the center on both of these so there it is on that one and there it is on the back side on that one and you just you cut out as wide as you can get it a circle for the main table and then on your second piece, these both are the same piece of wood, um, you route out your biggest circle that you can get on your second piece, and then you go through, you move your bit in, an inch in on your circle cutting jig, and then you route out this channel out of the inside, and that gives you a railing for the tabletop, and then this is actually going to be the base for the underside. So that'll be in the middle there, as the bottom and this is the tabletop and then I'm going to route out a channel for this half inch wide using the half inch cutting bit a channel in the center not in the center but around the outside and then I will round over these edges both on the outside and the inside inset this down in that channel and then that will give us a railing so that when you spin this really fast because kids always love to spin the Lazy Susans all the stuff won't go flying off of your Lazy Susan all over your table and then I'm also going to round over the top and the bottom edges here and make that really, really nice. So one other thing I'm going to be doing out in the shop is we're going to be getting up some more of the spalted uh, maple burl cut up and stabilized. Those have been selling really well. A lot of you guys have been going out and buying those. Thank you so much for supporting the shop and making those purchases. Uh, I've got actually two orders that I'm going to be hopefully shipping out tomorrow. Um, I did a whole bunch of reorganizing in the shop and the box that had my stabilized spalted maple burl in it uh, has uh, relocated itself somewhere uh, unknown. So once I get that found, I'm going to be shipping those out. If not, then I'll go and cut up and make some more real fast. Uh, it doesn't take too long. It takes about a, two days in order to um, dry those out, stabilize them, and then uh, finish sand them and get them uh, shipped off. So uh, I'll be getting those out soon. So those two customers that are waiting for those, uh, that is why they have been delayed. Had to do a whole bunch of reorganizing out here in the shop in order to have a clean working space uh, for using the circle cutting jig on the router. And then of course, when you're routing something, um, you know, a half inch channel and cutting all the way through depths of two different boards with three circles cutting out, a router cuts out a lot of material with a half inch bit. And when you're doing a circle jig, it cuts out a lot of material in 360 degrees. And when you don't have a dust collection hood uh, hooked up to the side of your router, it just flings it everywhere. And so I cleaned out the shop. That way clean up afterward would just be a matter of sweeping up. And um, I relocated a few things to areas where uh, I shouldn't have. So now I have to find things. <laughs> it always happens when you clean stuff up and then you don't remember where you put them. It's a terrible habit. So, well, like I said, it's just going to be a quick one out here in the shop. So sorry I didn't get a video out last week, uh, Shop Talk Tuesday last week. It was just, it was crazy at work. I overslept and then I had to get up and go in. Um, been doing a lot of late shifts, getting off like 1, 2 o'clock in the morning and going in at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So doing some 12 hours and stuff. And uh, it's been a little taxing on myself and my family. But uh, this week, um, been organized and planning things out a little bit better and actually I'm remembering to set an alarm in the morning so I actually wake up otherwise I'll, I'll sleep through the day by mistake because uh, I've got a blackout curtain on my my bedroom window so I don't realize oh it's daylight now <laughs> so 
Thanks so much for joining me out in the shop this week. Uh, you guys take care, have fun, get out and make something, and uh, we will see you next time. Be sure to check out some of my other videos here on the sides. Hit that subscribe button. This is Tactical Painter in the Suits Crafting Woodshop, signing out.